And remember, this is Luke. I mean, if he dies, he's he's gone. Luke Kerman might might be gone for good. He's one of our best pilots. Get a bit more thrust going. A little bit of lift. Okay. Now, now I know we're gonna make it at least to the shore. But I, I'm usually really, really, really good at landing aircraft. So we have absolutely no more thrust, which is fine. How are, how is how is this gonna? Ooh, don't crash! Don't crash! Don't crash! Oh, what's that over there? Let's let's take a look. Uh, uh, I. Okay, a little bit of brakes. Just a little bit of brakes. Whoa! Oof. Nailed it. What? What could that possibly be? Let's get a little, a little thrust. I don't. I don't want to walk all that way. Are you kidding? Luke just flew. He literally just flew in the air like a majestic bird, and he doesn't feel like walking a super huge distance. Okay. Our engines still sound like they're on. Can I? It feels like I should shut them off. Let's let's shut down our engines. Just to be safe. Okay. Now. Oh, Luke Herman was quite happy there for a second. Look, buddy, you're just you're just gonna have to let go. You're probably not gonna be able to get back up because it does not actually have uh, any type of ladder. But what the heck is this thing? They've never experienced this before the Kerbals on this planet. They have seen ancient artifacts in the past, but you you kind of remember they built the space station a bit, in a, or not space station, but space center a little bit in a hurry because they got approval and they were really excited to do it. They didn't really landscape the entire ground over here. They have no idea what this thing is. Luke spotted it from from the sky and now he must take a look at what it potentially is. It looks like a like an obelisk of sorts. I'm sure this is how the scientist felt when f discovering the Stargate for the first time in the best sci-fi series ever, also known as Stargate Squad, huh? It's a monkey. Now, obviously, those of you who know who Squad is, is developers of the game, so clearly this is a tribute to them, but to poor Luke Kerman and the rest of the Kerbals who are hearing his news reports back saying, well, I found something. What the heck is this black obelisk with a with a monkey on it with a with a helmet? He has no idea. So we're going to take a few samples just to see. I can't actually get inside of it, unfortunately. You know, like, I don't think I can. Uh, yes, let's see if we can. Oh, OK, we're not going to get anything too special out of that. But what we have found here is the fact that we we're, we're not necessarily alone. This, I mean, this is important stuff for the Kerbals, right? This is, once again, they found another artifact from the past. What could it mean? Is the monkey the people who, who created them? Were they created by a giant kind of space monkey? I mean, they may have been. Or is this something a bit more sinister? Was this put there by the Naturians to throw them off? To, to potentially mess with the inner workings of the Senethians. Because, you know, if, if they were created by some kind of monkey, and they go into assuming that, and then they find their creators, and it's not in fact a monkey, they would be really embarrassed if they had a ton of monuments to a monkey, right? Uh, that may end up destroying the Senethians, just like it destroyed the other people who uh, who inhabited this planet before. So... Now that we've done that, let's let's look a little bit about our science here. We really need a lot of stuff. Like these these engines would be good, or rather, those fuel tanks would be good. Uh, some of this stuff would be nice to have, but not necessarily needed. Um, we could use with uh, some of this stuff, like the the struts, will be really nice to have. So overall, I think. I think our Kerbals need to make one more mission in this plane. Because while we had our Kerbal flying around, he was having a ton of fun, right? He's He was a little crazed out. He didn't know exactly what was going on. 
with the fact that it was actually being able to fly. We'll also get Luke back in. Okay, cool. He's, he's ready to go. He, he, while he was flying, the, the radar that they have, it's a basic radar at the moment, managed to pick up something out in the water. They knew that from launching several spacecraft thus far. They knew that there was an island out there, but there was an energy signature coming from... Why is it pulling to one side? I don't understand. Whoa. Okay. We have to be really careful here. I want to go off the end of the runway because I know if I get just even partially in the air, I can get a little bit of lift. But this island over here, they picked up something that seemed like an like a EM field, as if you know electronics were actually over there. And it was when we were making our banking turn coming back around, this new prototype aircraft picked it up. So it's time to go and actually figure out what the heck is over there. And as I've said before, the Kerbals haven't necessarily explored their entire planet yet. There's a lot of stuff that they quite, you know, haven't gotten to yet. Because they, they the priorities, right? The priority is to get into space. They want to get to other planets and to the moon and stuff. And, and they're managing that as of this moment. Now the Naturians, different priorities, right? They don't really care. But if, if there's still stuff to be found here on the planet that may point them in the right direction, maybe even give them a bit more scientific data and technology in order to get to these other planets, then, then why not? And as we come up to this island, we're starting to see something out there, and Luke Kerman's reporting back. He's, you know, he's going, guys, there's literally something on this island. It, it's not natural. You know a natural structure because it looks like one of these, right? It's just like a bump, a hill. E even unnatural-looking structures have natural quantity qualities to them like you know in in china there's these it's an amazing mountain ridge it's actually the one that they they used in the movie avatar where it's you know like the huge like hanging mountains it's basically in china it's just these giant mountain cliffs and they're beautiful right but they're you know there's nature to them they they look natural uh, in the landscape even though they look crazy in general so this, as he gets closer, he's realizing that's just like a strip of brown. Can't really quite see what it is. Looks kind of flat. Maybe I'll try to land there. Maybe I'll do a flyby, a buzzing of the uh, landscape. But as we get closer, we, we notice, oh, man, it's it's actually kind of like a strip of land that we could potentially land on. Let's figure out what the heck is here. There appears to be some type of structure. Luke is a little... A little uh, distraught. He doesn't know quite what to believe here. He doesn't know what he's seeing. He's looking down, trying to figure out what exactly is going on, but we'll find out here in a second, I'm sure. He's definitely going in for a landing. He knows he can't land. He's done it once before. He's confident of it now, as are most of the Kerbals when they've done one thing. They become quite confident uh, in themselves to continue to do things of crazy nature. Now this is going to be a bit interesting because this is definitely some type of landing structure, whether it's actually a structure in the background there or just, you know, happens to be a building of some description. But ooh, a little bit, a little, little rough. Managed to do it though. So we're going to kind of come to our own slowing pace, and oh, this is actually. Like a real structure here. I don't think Luke knows what he's what he's seeing. I don't think he believes what he's seeing. This happens to be an old space structure. It is definitely worn down. I think I think Luke is gonna take another look. Probably doesn't need the spacesuit, but you know what? He's got it anyways. Also, you gotta imagine he's on his radio because he does have a spacesuit on. And he's trying to figure out like what the heck, guys? How have we never seen this? We've been in space before. Sure, we don't have telescopes, but we've been into space before. What what the heck? What the heck is this place? That is definitely a flight tower, although very run down, and it's got foliage growing off of it. These are definitely hangars. There was most certainly Kerbals here before, or some type of civilization, and he's going to try to investigate further and figure out exactly what it is. Now, as he gets closer to investigate, he sees... 
This is clearly an old engine. That's a bell of an engine. This is clearly an old capsule. Potentially fuel tank here. What's going on? How is this how is this possible? The the people here before, let's let's take an EVA report while we're at it. Uh, and you know, a surface sample, just cause the people here before clearly achieved some type of space travel, whether it be limited or not, but that is definitely a, a space capsule. And these are quite large hangars, which means they probably had some pretty magnificent uh, aircraft of some description or a vertical or a horizontal launch spacecraft. So let's let's figure out what this thing is. Can we even get inside this structure and potentially find old documents and papers from whoever was here last? There appear to be stairs, so we can actually move up as we go. And we see through the wall there, but I think that's more of our camera than what Luke here is seeing. But he's he's one of the first to witness this. He's you know he's describing it back to the other Kerbals at the space center, trying to be like, guys, what? You know, how, how have we never seen this before? You're not going to believe what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing a, a flight tower. I'm seeing hangars. I'm seeing pieces to to spacecraft. Uh, there were clearly who, you know, our, our ancestors, our people who were here before us, the ones that were destroyed by whoever created us was definitely capable of, of some type of space travel because they had space capsules, uh, not quite unlike the ones that, they currently have in the space program here so it's a little bit it's a little bit scary because they they've always known the previous people to have failed oh and this is most certainly a as the camera freaks out there most certainly a, a, a you know a, a flight tower so let's let's see if our eva report so it's basically saying that we're in the water which is totally wrong but we're definitely up in this flight tower, so let's let's recover us. We'll also recover our aircraft. How they do that, I don't know. Maybe they have boats. You could assume that they've they've got some type of boats, right? So let's just say they do it that way. So we're gonna recover our aircraft, and we're up to fifty six science, which means through learning what the heck this all was, sending sending scientific people over there to figure it out we've managed to understand that we now have struts basically we've learned struts so that's what uh, we're going to work with there now this is important stuff because this this changes the way the synethians have always thought about the people before they thought that they were unable to achieve their destiny which is to colonize other worlds and learn more about whoever created them but this new data suggests that they had aircraft, they had spacecraft of some description, and potentially managed to get even further than the Synethians have thus far. So, it's a little bit of a, a scary moment here. The Synethians thought they were far beyond the previous people here on the planet, but that's obviously not the case. They may be on par with them, so Synethians feeling a little bit in danger here. Maybe maybe the people who created them will show up and be like, you guys still haven't been able to do this. We're just going to have to wipe you out and redo it again. Now, the Naturians, on the other hand, they're feeling a lot of doubt because they're like, obviously there was a structure over here, but the most hardcore of Naturians believe that the Synethians built it in order to, to destabilize the Naturian belief system. And it's getting, it's getting a little hectic, man. Riots, possibly, but the Synethians push on. Jebediah has been in the simulator these past weeks of, of trying to figure out how to get these aircraft to work, and what he's seeing is he's ready to land on the moon. So that's what they're going to build now. They're they're moving on. They're, they understand that you know there's different things here on the planet they haven't observed yet and that they probably should, but they really need to get to the moon and potentially find out has other people been to the moon. They need to observe the moon fully, go to each different little crater that they can possibly get to, retrieve all of the scientific data that they can potentially get, and really figure out how far these past people have gone, and maybe start looking into 
what exactly they've done in the past too and and learning from their mistakes i think that is going to be quite important for the synethians but now it is time to build our new and improved moon lander not just a moon probe but a moon lander so we can get jebediah there Thank you.